Good evening to those bored enough to watch. I've been a fan of the Yakuza games for quite some time, in which I hope that has been made clear through the hour-long videos I've made on both Yakuza Kiwami and Yakuza Kiwami 2, as well as the many more games in this series that I plan to eventually discuss. With the release of the recent game, that being called the Like a Dragon Gaiden, the man who erased his name, which I'll be calling Yakuza Gaiden throughout this video, something garnered my interest that seemed to completely slip my mind when the game was initially revealed. I still haven't played the game, I hope you can guess why. But something seemed different, and that was the title of the game. Every Western fan of this series primarily knew the series as Yakuza. It was the name that every game that made it to the West during the series' initial rise to prominence during the mid 2000s and early 2010s released under. In Japan, it was known as Ryuga Gotoku, hence the studio being named RGG Studio, and that translated to Like a Dragon, which is what I assume the series will be called in the West from this game onward, as the remake of the once Japan exclusive Yakuza Ishin released as Like a a dragon Ishin. I want to make something very clear. I don't mind this name change in the title. Much like everyone of whom was a long time fan before this change, I'll still be calling the games Yakuza. It's a habit at this point and I also find that Yakuza is far easier and less of a mouthful to say in comparison to Like a Dragon. It's more of a result as a personal preference and habit. Not because I dislike the change, it simply garnered my interest and it's only now that I sit down to write this script that I realise I may have a problem with dedicating large portions of my day to thinking about things that don't matter. Matter. In this video, I want to talk about a wide multitude of things, why some may argue that it works and why some may argue that it doesn't, though ultimately it doesn't affect the quality of the games as regardless of whether you call it like a dragon or Yakuza, these games are still brilliant. So with that, let's try to answer the question, what's with Yakuza's title change? Now, there are a multitude of advantages that come with this change, the first and most obvious being that it's more faithful to the place of its origin, that being Japan. Now, the first question I had in mind when I learnt of this change is why they even bothered to make it now of all times. If they wanted the game to be called Like a Dragon, then why wouldn't they just release the first ever Yakuza game that came to the West on the PS2 under that Elias? And to speculate an answer to that question, we should look at not only the PS2, but the time period it was released in. It's easy to deduce that this series has struggled to find its footing in the West in the past. The average player wouldn't know, but it's easy to see through the Yakuza 3, 4, and 5 remastered versions being retranslated to fit the modern day Yakuza continuity, such as names and whatnot. I suppose the reason it was called Yakuza here in the first place is because success of that original PS2 title was not guaranteed in the West at all, and if anything, many people thought it was doomed to fail. In Japan, it was more than a success, but overseas it seemingly failed to capture its audience. I bring this up because it was likely called Yakuza because the game correlates heavily with the Yakuza, and that was probably probably what they thought the most appealing aspect of the game was to the average player in the West during that time, likely thinking that Like a Dragon wouldn't be as appealing as Yakuza and thus calling it the latter in hopes of capturing that interest in the game. Additionally, Like a Dragon is very symbolic to the game's themes, referring to the Dragon of Dojima and the fight between Kiryu and Nishiki as the latter intended to surpass Kiryu in his own way, becoming a dragon through defeating Kiryu in that final fight. Of course, we have hindsight and analysis to understand that today, but assumedly during that period of time, such themes wouldn't be as obvious to a player in 2005 and which would confuse them as to why it was even called that in the first place, further pushing the idea of calling it Yakuza in the West which would finally find its footing with Yakuza 0. Now, most who've played these games are aware of what it's called in Japan, as well as the symbolism and the themes portrayed within the series. Despite being about the Yakuza and them playing a part in the story, there are still prominent external themes such as fatherhood and whatnot portrayed within. We as a modern audience have that understanding. We know full well what the games are truly about which may have constituted changing the title to be closer to its title in Japan, as many more would have understood. Additionally, there is a lot more significance to the name change in terms of the story, as the story does include the Yakuza, and it does play a vital role in many of the stories that these games tell, it still correlates more to Kiryu being the Dragon of Dojima, hence the name, Like a Dragon. Now, one thing I do want to talk about is the possible negative consequences of changing this game's title. For example, why even bother with such an unnecessary change? With hindsight, we know that the series still struggled to find its footing here in the West regardless of what it was called for a multitude of reasons aside from that. So that brings the question, was this change really necessary? If anything, it's way more of a mouthful to call it like a dragon, and the majority of the fanbase are still calling it Yakuza. Not to mention how inconsistent the franchise is as a whole now. 
now, with most of the games being called Yakuza, most of the fans still primarily know it as that, and with the series shifting to a new protagonist, there does exist a possibility that many people might not realise that Yakuza and Like a Dragon are the same thing, though a counter argument would be that there already exists foundations that connects them together, such as Yakuza 7 being called Yakuza Like a Dragon in the West, which does connect the two alliances together quite nicely. Furthermore, I don't think Sega would let that happen considering how Yakuza is a cash cow for them nowadays, so it would be within their best interest to abstain from confusing future fans. When it comes to trying to identify possible disadvantages, it is very difficult considering how in my opinion, there are more advantages one might recognise than disadvantages. Additionally, when this change was first proposed, to my knowledge, no one really cared, which is a good thing. This does save the brand recognisability amongst the fans and possible newcomers, and I think that no one bothering to complain about it does show how the title being changed is welcomed warmly here in the West. Just to reiterate what I said during the introduction of this video, I don't mind this title change, much like everyone else. Something about it seemed to capture my interest as Yakuza is one of my favourite franchises alongside Sonic the Hedgehog and a few others. I'm still going to call it Yakuza, mostly out of habit as formerly mentioned during the introduction. It's just something I, for whatever reason, put a lot of time into thinking about, and in this video I wanted to share some of those thoughts. Ultimately, these are still amazing games, regardless of whether they're called Yakuza or Like a Dragon. So. So, there's the video, I hope you all enjoyed it. First off, apologies if I sound off in this video, I am a bit sick, in which I hope it's not obvious, this video must have been disgusting to listen to if that's the case. Additionally, I apologise that there hasn't been any new videos, I am working on a few smaller ones before getting to the big videos I want to release before the year ends, so I hope you look forward to seeing those. If you want to view the list of games I want to make videos about, then you can always do so through the link in the description. Additionally, if you want to follow me, then my socials will be linked in the description as well as any afterthoughts or messages I may want to add. With that, I haven't really got much else I want to say, so I'll see you all in my next video. I hope you all enjoyed the video and I wish you all a very pleasant evening.